Pastor Robert Jeffress, First Baptist Church of Dallas, Fox Business contributor, and is on this broadcast almost every Every <laughs> Friday evening, we thank you for doing that. And also, I want to start with, uh, if I may, first with Samuel Alito talking about the endangerment uh, of religious liberty and under this country. The implication being, it will only be more so in the years ahead. Well, he's absolutely correct, Lou. And he asked an interesting question last night. He said, "Is our society?" inclusive enough to include uh, and to tolerate religious views that are unpopular, views like marriage should be between a man and a woman. And you know, in 2015, Alito was one of the dissenters in the same-sex marriage case of the Supreme Court. And he and the other dissenters predicted that that decision would cause a, re a collision re with religious liberty in the future. Well, that collision was put on hold because of the election of Donald Trump, who did more for religious liberty than any president in history. But Lou, I'm here to tell you that right. if President Trump is no longer president, Joe Biden has already announced he's going to attack religious liberty. In an interview with the Philadelphia publication, he said he's going to go after yeah, yeah, faith groups yeah. that do not support a more liberal idea toward marriage. And that's why I'm warning every Lou Dobbs viewer tonight to know that if Joe Biden should become president, you better buckle up for a bumpy ride if you believe in religious liberty. Yeah, I, th I think, frankly, that all of our liberties are uh, in under threat uh, with that prospect. Uh, it's also interesting for Justice Alito to have said that uh, COVID is being used by the left to curtail uh, our religious liberties. Uh, and again, I think he's exactly right, uh, but I don't think that this has enough shape and form for so many Americans who are going about their lives as they watch this, I mean, because the left is using COVID, the China virus, uh, for the most authoritarian things, uh, uh, decisions imaginable and orders. Uh, don't uh, have Thanksgiving dinner. Don't you know, go yes. to church, whatever it may be. It's outrageous. It is outrageous, and I'm glad the Catholic Church is pushing back a bit against Cuomo and his unconstitutional shutdown of churches. And Alito noted last night that it's not right for Nevada to give more preference to casinos than to churches. Look, there is no constitutional right for a casino to be open, right. but the First Amendment protects every church's right to be open. And these rights, like you mentioned, Lou, right. they're under assault, and they're going Pastor, to continue to be under we, assault as long as the Democrats are in charge. Pastor Robert Jeffress, I apologize. We're out of time. I want to just add to your remarks. Uh, read his, uh, if you wish, read his op-ed. While some in the left wanted to characterize it as entirely erroneous, it turned out to just be another one of those left-wing assaults on a, a great American. Pastor Robert Jeffress, thanks for being with us, Pastor.